Okay, so for my restaurants, the reality is, is I set up a boot camp inside the restaurant. When I hire someone, I don't bring them in on the slowest day part. A lot of times you'll see a restaurant, what they'll do is they'll bring them in on a Monday, lunch, when there's no business. And then the employee will stand around wondering, well, what do I do? How do I do it? When do I do something? There's hardly any customers. And they're sitting here watching you as a manager doing virtually nothing as well. You are now training them that that's OK. See, I would rather get them off the bus. And immediately, the moment they hit the ground, it's intense. It's at the peak volume. Well, I can't train people when it's busy. You can't train people when it's slow. You have to train people when it's busy. The best thing you can do is bring somebody in on a Friday night dinner, if that's your key day part, while you're getting crushed. There's customers everywhere. There's activity. There's employees everywhere. Everyone's running a million miles an hour. And if you blow this person out because it's too intense, I've only spent one day in salary paying them. I don't want to go through a bunch of slow Mondays and Tuesdays and the next week a slow Tuesday and Wednesday. And now I've let a month, month and a half go by before they've dealt with a peak period. And then the first time I give them a peak period and the first time we're running 100 miles an hour, they freak and they quit. They run for the door. I've now spent all of those hours of training so that I could teach them how to roll silverware. I could teach them how to take the trash from point A to point B. I could teach them how to do dishes for nothing because as soon as the peak period comes, they're gone. See, I like doing it the exact opposite. Bring them in in a boot camp type setting. Intense right from the start. High energy. They leave that first night, they either love it or they hate it.